The double slit experiment has been regarded by some as one of the most elegant experiments in scientific history. It is a demonstration of the object wave duality of all matter, as demonstrated by the most powerful scientific theory ever conceived, quantum mechanics. It reveals surprising insight into the nature of reality. Quantum physics revealed that the physical world was not based on concrete material interactions, but formed out of a sea of potential, more akin to information than matter. The mechanical universe of Newtonian physics could no longer be considered an accurate representation of nature, and more like a highly accurate approximation for the behaviour of larger, established objects. But also at the fore of this, and all of the quantum experiments, is presented what is perhaps a more mysterious finding, sometimes called the observer effect. It is that the object wave duality of particles, how the physical world presents itself, seems to depend inextricably on our observations of it. But what does that mean? In the double slit experiment, particles are sent through a laser towards two slits in a barrier. Particles act not like physical objects, but as a wave of potential, actually occupying all possible states. As this wave of potential passes through the two slits, its ability to interact with itself accumulates in a wave signature forming on the plate at the back. This is known as an interference pattern. However, when we attempt to gain knowledge about the path of the particles as they travel through the slits, their behaviour changes entirely. When we observe the particles, they no longer behave as a wave, but as a physical object that travels a single determinable path. This change in behaviour is evident on the plate, where the particle's impact points now form in the shape and size of the two slits. This surprising change from potential to physical happens every time the experiment is run. Simply knowing the path of the particles seems to affect their behaviour. Many contributors to quantum theory have acknowledged this in frank terms. Nobel Prize winning physicist Eugene Wigner stated, It was not possible to formulate the laws of quantum mechanics in a fully consistent way without reference to the consciousness of the observer. The very study of the external world led to the conclusion that the content of consciousness is the ultimate reality. Another central contributor to quantum theory was Werner Heisenberg. Heisenberg said this, Natural science does not simply describe and explain nature, it describes nature as exposed to our method of questioning. This was a possibility that Descartes could not have thought but it makes a sharp separation between the world and the I impossible.